Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to TLC. As Astra said, right as the pre-show was ending, we are back with some tag team action. The fashion police are in the house. Y'all better hide your Crocs, hide your Zubaz, and get ready to get some tickets. Some tickets, some tickets. Breezango fought their way back to the tag title picture after being defeated by the bar at WrestleMania. The bar, of course, retained their championships last month at Survivor Series yes, it against is. the Usos, and now Breezango's back. Barely defeating the, the Usos at that. Uh, this is a very loose pin from Cesaro on Jimmy or not Jimmy, whichever one they he was. I forgot how we distinguished them. Uh, same. I think one has tape on his fingers. Jimmy with the tape. Jimmy no tape. Jimmy no Jimmy no tape. <laughs> Jimmy with the tape. I got nothing. <laughs> Either way, not to take away from Brizango's entrance here, but you can't. You, re you, you really can't. You really can't. Bre uh, Fandango, sorry, uh, won a match to potentially be in this match, and then chose to do a steel cage against the revival. And here we are. Yep. And of course, Fandango climbed out of the ring. Dash Wilder climbed out of the ring and just left Tyler Breeze and Scott Dawson. Yep, just left them. Like, they were nothing. But it worked out for the fashion police. Tyler Breeze made his way out. Or you could say it didn't work out for him because right now they have to go against The Bar. The only team that have ever defeated Tyler Breeze and Fandango very interesting. I'm excited to see this match. I really, really am as they come out holding their lovely tag team championships. Now, with this being TLC Astra, do we have any stipulations? From what I understand, Plastic, this match is an Extreme Rules match. All four men will be in the ring at the same time, and it's just going to be chaos. I mean, the last time Breeze Angle had an Extreme Rules match, it didn't really work out for them. It was against Authors of Pain, and it, well, I mean, it did. They won the match. They did win the match. That's how they won their championships. But they suffered greatly for it here now. And I'm going to be honest, looking at the bar, I would not want to go against them in a Extreme Rules match. I fully agree with you as Sheamus, heavy hitter, Cesaro, smarter than smart. I got nothing. Smarter than smart. I got nothing. Um, huh. <laughs> so they'll know how to work. You All the weapons. I do. This is your job. I don't, I don't research this. <laughs> smarter than smart, everybody. Smarter than smart. It's okay. Those the two of these men standing tall with their championships for now. Can they beat the? Can they beat Breezango twice? That's the question. I don't know. I real. I really don't know here, Astra. But I am very excited to see this here happen. The crowd, San Jose, fully behind Breezango right now. Whether that bodes well for them or not, who really knows? They could get cocky, they could let it go to their heads. I don't know. It's hard to say, but Cesaro just staring them down right now as Sheamus is just kind of doing the stretches, chilling out. The bar don't mess around. We know that they're very serious competitors, and I assume... They might see whatever Fandango choose to do, or sorry, uh, Fashion Police, Breezango choose to do with those belts as an insult to what they've been trying to accomplish over the past seven months. That's a very solid point. And here we go, the bell rings, the belts are put aside, Cesaro and Fandango are the only two men left standing after a quick bout of offense. That is, we had a beautiful four, a flying forearm and a drop kick right off the bat here. Now the bar takes control over Breezango. And right off the bat, it changes. 100%. Cesaro called for the, the giant swing, but... A bit too early for that. A little too early as Fandango got to his feet and just took him straight out. And now, Sheamus to the outside. Tyler Breeze there right with him, getting ready to do some damage. No, quick knee to the chin. This here is what you got to watch out for, of course, Astro. When you're in a, uh, you know, an Extreme Rules tag team match or a Tornado tag match, the partner is always there. You cannot focus 100% on the other, you know, on the other member of said team. Absolutely. Belly to belly suplex from Sheamus on the outside. And what in the world is Fandango trying to do here? It's up the beautiful. Oh, oh my god. The impact from that. I thought he was going for a superplex. He turned it into a falcon arrow. 
not even go for a pin, opting to go to the top rope here and try to hit Sheamus, but miss, but the landing wasn't too bad. Not too bad, but what was a bad landing was Cesaro, I guess, trying to do a springboard and losing his footing on the ropes there. He just ate dirt. Yeah, I guess inside the ring we got Tyler Breeze getting brutalized by Cesaro, Sheamus on the outside. Going for some weapons to bring some brutality into this match. Oh, Sledgehammer no. from Sheamus. Reverse, though. Fandango not letting him take Very any smart. advantage right now. There you go. Both ends of that sledgehammer is a dangerous weapon. you got to watch out for that. Even if you're holding it, as you saw right there, Sheamus reaping from what he sowed. As now he's getting steel steps to his back. Tyler Breeze on the inside there, making short work of Cesaro. Roll to the outside, Tyler Breeze getting some weapons himself. Forearm from Fandango, so much stuff going on here, Astra. Baseball bat in the hands of Tyler Breeze right now as Sheamus now making his way over. Quick knee to the side, drop the bat, but reversed by Tyler Breeze. The bat is over there somewhere. Steel chair in hand for, Ces for Fandango over here. Cesaro, oh dear. Right to the back of the neck. As Sheamus just throwing Tyler Breeze around like he's absolutely nothing. Anytime I see these matches here, Astro, especially any involving Sheamus, I'm a little bit worried because, of course, he does have that nagging, persistent neck injury that could very well end his career. That's very, very true. It's Fandango just back and forth between both members of, of the bar right now with that steel chair. I mean, it works. It absolutely does work. That table position very precariously pulled out by Cesaro. Oh, Sheamus coming over trying to save his teammate. Oh, the table slid down, so it all worked out anyway. He did save his teammate. Big reversal from, from Fandango. Went for a, ow, it looked like a sidewalk slam. Oh, a little bit of uh, a little bit of confusion there between Fandango. Oh, watch that ladder there, boys. Okay. So we've now officially got this Extreme Rules match underway. We've got some tables, we've got some chairs, we've got some ladders. It's almost like we're at TLC. We also got a sledgehammer and a baseball bat, so TLC SB. And some steps. Oh yeah, TLC SSB. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Cesaro putting that ladder in the ring. Drop kick from Fandango. Gut wrench from Sheamus. Down on Tyler Breeze. Oh, Fandango just watching right now with the table setting it up. Is Cesaro going to let him? Yes, actually. What are you? Okay. I'm not entirely sure what Cesaro was thinking here. But, okay, ladder in hand. Sheamus and Fandango on the outside just bumping into each other. Beautiful backbreaker. Got the kick from Cesaro. Time to follow the action. A lot of people going on right now. Beautiful float over DDT from Tyler Breeze as Sheamus now looking for more weapons underneath that ring. If you notice down on the bottom of the you saw Fandango trying to go for something. Sheamus just smacked it away and immediately took advantage and took down Fandango. Beautiful chair shot as Cesaro just continues working on Tyler Breeze inside the ring. This is, uh, this is getting greasy, Astra. It is indeed getting greasy as both members of the bar are currently standing tall. Fandango getting worked by that steel chair, and Cesaro just not quite sure what he wants to do with that ladder yet. I think he just didn't see the space to set it up inside the ring there. Oh, Cesaro throwing Fandango in the corner of Tyler Breeze, catching it. Beautiful full Nelson slam here from Sheamus. On the outside though, he saw that Fandango rolled out, knocked down that table. A little bit smart? Ah, maybe. Probably an accident. I think it's all skill. I think he saw the opportunity to take that table down and prevent some uh, damage from happening to him. Very good. Very, very likely is. Unfortunately, if he didn't do that, he would have thrown uh, Cesaro right through it. What is happening in the ring here? Not a whole lot. Tyler Breeze went for something and got reversed. And I believe Fandango just flattened Cesaro on the outside there. I'm not too sure. I'm really not too sure what's happening here, Astra. There is so much. As Fandango got out of the match, got in the ring, and a beautiful flying glows onto Cesaro saying, no, that's my table. That's mine. I'll, I'll take that. I'm going to take this back now. I don't know what Sheamus is doing in there. He's just kind of chilling there you out go. with that ladder. He's looking to maybe set it up. I don't entirely know what's happening. Tyler Breeze working his way to his feet. Oh, down goes the table. 
That's a, that's a very weak table. The legs on that must be garbage. And finally, Seamus coming back to life after what seemed to have been a couple of minutes of just kind of staring off into space. He's still not really sure what to do with his ladder. No. What is he doing? I, I don't I don't fully know. As Fandango currently clearing off an announce table, Seamus now leaning the ladder up against the ropes. Oh. Some brief miscommunication from uh, Seamus and uh, Cesaro on the outside there. Oh no! All that work that Seamus put in, putting that ladder right there. The referee half knocked it over, and then Tyler Breeze threw him in, and it just knocked it all off. What? Is, what are you? What are you doing, Seamus? You keep trying to do something. I don't know, man. He there's something in his mind that he wants to do, but the referee doesn't really want to let him. Oh God! That bro kick from Sheamus just taking Tyler Breeze out. He kind of hit his spine in a weird way on the corner of that table, too. Oh, yeah, it was gross. Oh, no. What is happening here? I'm not entirely sure. Looked like he was going to try and set something up, but never ended up doing it. Maybe he's trying to put Fandango through that table? Hard to say for sure, to be honest. I don't know. I don't know, Astro. Here you go, Fandango. Throwing to Sheamus at the table. Oh, little eye poke. Little eye, big eye poke. As it completely took Sheamus off his feet. That did. You got, you got Tyler Breeze down in the bottom corner of your screen there, going after Cesaro with a sledgehammer, which just got distracted. Got very distracted, and then he ate a German suplex as a result, and Fandango was just beating Cesaro, I'm sorry, Sheamus senseless with that table. There he is. Once more, I'm looking at Fandango here with his table, and he's reminding me of Cesaro with his ladder. He doesn't know what to do. Yep. I can agree with that. As now, <laughs> I, I don't, I don't, I don't know if these guys know what they are doing. Like they have things in mind. They definitely have something in mind. Oh no! Oh, flatliner from Fandango right there. I think that's what that move is called. I'm sure there's some name to it that I just don't know, Astra. But right now, the Fashion Police have taken control of this match. And just like that, Cesaro changes the tide. <laughs> but, you know, it's stuff is happening. The bat is in play. The bat's in play. The Bulldog to Cesaro. And now, one on one. No, two on one for the Fashion Police. Oh, baseball bat to the side of the head and then to the gut as well. Oh, my God. God, I, I'm going to be hard-pressed to say that the bar walk out of here with their belts tonight. Yeah, I'm not too sure here, Astro. Right now, oh, Fandango is taking Cesaro over towards that table there. Yeah, I think he, he had something in mind. He had something in mind, but he just kind of ran out of gas halfway through and fell to his knees. That he did. You know, think about Sheamus is a big man, so it's a little bit harder to get him up and anywhere, really. Oh, Seamus, now's not the time to be taunting. Nope, there you go. He's going, nope, he's not quite on that table yet. But on the other side of your screen, we got a gut wrench deadlift suplex. Oh, man. The table is knocked down once more. Military press from Cesaro right now, reversed by Tyler Breeze into a DDT. Beautiful. How many times are you going to set that table up after you knock it down, Fandango? I got, I got nothing. Oh, Fandango seeing that his tag partner needed help, so he came with a baseball bat. Oh, ladder down. Ladder down, double uh, swinging forearm from Sheamus here. It's like these guys are bouncing off each other. Fandango saw the ladder that Sheamus had set up, and he was like, oh, I can, I can work with this. I can do something here. And then Sheamus saw what Fandango was trying to do and said, no. Close line there from Fandango taking Sheamus out of the ring. It looked like Sheamus was trying to set something up there. He was kind of sidestepping a little bit, trying to move around Fandango. Maybe? I don't even know. There's just so much chaos happening in this match here right now. Cesaro and Tyler Breeze. Now Fandango oh. into the steel steps. Eep. Eep indeed. Yeah. Now Cesaro there into the go. steel steps. A lot of people back and forth there. Cesaro and Fandango getting a little cuddly over there in the corner. I mean, not really sure what's happening. Oh, no, Tyler Breeze. <laughs> the unprettier on Sheamus to the outside. That is not good. No, nope. for your skull. Oh, my God. Ow. 
these people had a front row seat to that beautiful, vicious move from Tyler Breeze. Oh dear. It's nice to see though, Breeze and Go now, in control. <laughs> Just taking turns throwing each other into those steps. I mean, they do what they gotta do. But yeah, if you notice there, Cesaro is is bust open. Right on the side of his head by the looks of it. Yeah, it's 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 pretty gruesome gonna be honest here, as Seamus once more in the ring. Looks like he might be going back to that ladder one more time. One more time. What exactly are you trying to do here, Seamus? I don't know, but Tyler Breeze coming with the chair. Cesaro trying to go for something. Ben Dangle to the top rope. Not smart. No, Seamus looking the wrong nice. way. Very smart looking the wrong way. Got him caught with a punch. Oh, dear. What oh. are they being trying here? Looks like he was trying to run up the ladder and jump off it, but that's not a good idea right now. Nope. Going for that flatliner one more time, this time on this baseball bat. Tyler Breeze taking down the table on the outside, looking to bring the action on the inside. It looked like, but caught up on uh, the cover of the announce table there. He is indeed. He can't quite figure out how to get that in the ring. There we go. There he, he is. the sidestep the, the, the announce table top a little bit. That he did, Fandango oh, thrown to the outside, went for a pin on Sheamus and only got the one count, not even. Not even, vicious German there from Cesaro. Now that I'm seeing it a little closer, there's a giant cut on the side of Cesaro's head, on his forehead, the blood is just everywhere. I mean, I expected this match. Ooh. Back body drop from Sheamus, Fandango rolling out of the ring. Big reversal from Tyler Breeze here. Oh, went for something, reversed. And a beautiful clothesline. You know, Sheamus has, uh, sorry, Tyler back to his feet. Can't quite figure out what he's gonna do. Big boot from Cesaro, as now it's time to just work over Tyler Breeze. Backbreaker, oh no. Oh, and the throw kick. Oh, buddy. Wait, we just got him. Did he get his head on that table? It looks like he most certainly did. Watch the impact right there on the back of his right head. on the lip of that table. Yeah. Tyler Breeze might be out. No! He kicked out at one. What are you doing, Tyler? He wants to keep this tag team championship dream alive. As Fandango now. Another bro kick on the table one more time. Oh, no. Pinfall, trying to tap out. The referee just got confused and just called them both off. What just happened? The bar could have just won this match. And Sheamus is furious. <laughs> now trying to talk to the ref. What just happened? I'm not sure. He just called off the pin and the submission. That could have been the victory for the bar right there. As now Tyler Breeze forcing Ch uh, Cesaro out of the ring. Now going for what looks to be a powerbomb situation. Oh, a punch to the back of the head from Fandango. Not too smart here, Sheamus. You gotta try to focus on both members of the team here. As Cesaro is knocked out on the inside. Baseball bat from Tyler Breeze. Shot to the back of the head, knocking Sheamus down. And now going for the pin. And just like that. I don't, I don't know, Plastic. I feel like the bar might have claw, might have reason for a rematch after this. The referee might have just screwed them. It didn't look good. I, I don't, I don't know how I feel about that. Normally, seeing the belts back with the fashion police would get me hyped, get me hot and bothered. But tonight, it just got me bothered. Ah, it's a little bit bittersweet. But that being said, they are your new champions, and coming up next. We might crown a new United States champion.